Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Fat Guy Flies RC, we're out here at the Avon Park Aero Model Association in beautiful Avon Park, Florida. Might have a little bit of weather coming, but right now we're okay. Gonna take up the Skynetic Shrike, which is the Motion RC in-house brand. This is an absolutely awesome plane. Great beginner plane. Right, left, up, down, right, left, and motor's off. It's got flaps, she's got lights. Look at that Skynetic brand right there underneath there. And the way to launch this bird, the best way to launch it, is to put takeoff flaps, okay? Put her nose into the wind, give her about, oh, half throttle, and just give her a little chunk. And there she goes, I'm not even touching it, see? I'm not even touching, about half throttle, them take off flaps, and you are in business. Now, I don't have any kind of uh, gyro or stabilization of any type in this plane. And I'll be honest, she really doesn't need it. She's a sport glider, um, very easy to transport. The wings have the uh, quick connects. Looks like I need a little bit of right aileron. Right? Um, the wings have the quick connects in there. And they have this really, and when you slide the wings in, of course the wings uh, clock in to their uh, quick connects. But you have this very long plastic golf tee. Uh, plastic, and, and it's like eight inches long. And it's, and it's inside the canopy. You slide that out, and what that does, that slides into both wing halves and lock that wing in place. Now, if you look right at the wing, coming right at us now, you can kind of see them red and green lights. Um, get this plane up. Kind of let go of her. A little bit as far as uh, as long as she's balanced good. Keep her nose up and you can just glide and glide and glide. And, and she will do that. I'm running a 2200 Ovionics in her, but honestly, you could put like a 1300 to an 1800 in here, no problem, or up to a 2200. You got plenty of room. Um, but uh, I got a 2200 and I can get, oh, I could probably get 15 minutes of flying time out of her if I was to um really uh you use throttle management doesn't have a super uh, uh quick roll rate but sport gliders are not meant this is what a sport glider is meant to do long big wide sweeping turns they're just big and elegant that's what they're meant to do Yeah, Five minutes. that's what they're meant to do. Just these nice big, and of course you can up the speed on them. That's full throttle right there, folks. Into the wind. Still firewalled. Now I'm even off the throttle a little bit. Putting in the landing flaps, because she's got landing flaps. This plane has, it takes a five channel receiver, but there's no such thing as a five channel receiver. Um, because you got flaps and you got lights and I wanna say the lights were plugged in with the wiring of the ailerons so you don't have to do anything with those. When you plug the, uh, when you plug your wings in, you're automatically giving power to your lights. Um, try, if you're on, a, if you have a runway and if you have the option to land in grass, land in grass if you can because that runway is just gonna absolutely mar the underside of your, of your fuselage. Well, there you go. That's how you land that, that beautiful bird. Very elegant machine. Prop is off. Wait, prop's off. And, but see, see this black under here? That's from me landing on this runway. And you don't want that if you can avoid it, you know? But if you can't avoid it, if you have to land on the runway, well, then you gotta land on the runway. But let's go with that again. Okay, we're gonna take, we're gonna do takeoff flaps. 
into the wind about half throttle and i'm just kind of just gonna kind of let her go and see she's rising on her own rising i'm not even touching her so and that's what a takeoff flap should do for you they should give you enough uh Time remaining. i can't think of the word now luff lift to where you'll gently rise which is what you want to do without having to use an elevator that's what I've always found to be the best thing for takeoff flaps on any plane. That you should be able to do a nice scale takeoff and gently rise into the air without any elevator input. If you do that, then your plane is balanced right and your plane has got your flaps, your takeoff flaps right. Landing flaps, different story. Totally different animal. Um, that is meant to keep your plane level and just slow it down it's still up to you to keep your nose up you know keep your wings level and have a nice controlled ascent mainly using your your throttle throttle is probably the number is the number one landing control people think it's your elevator but really it's your throttle all right my flaps are in i'm gliding in i got my wings level just using my rudder oh man okay see i kind of overcorrected a little bit with my rudder i didn't want to land on that uh runway but uh let's take off motor off put our flaps back up this time we're going to take off with no flaps okay motor back on and this time i'm going to give her about three quarters throttle and kind of give her an upward throttle a little more of an upward toss Yeah, there we go. All right, we're gonna land again. I wanna show you that uh, quick connect and how easily this plane will, uh... well, you know what, real quick before we do that, let's have some fun with it. Let's see. Let's see, she'll fly inverted for you. Not real well. <laughs> Let me try that again. I don't like it. <laughs> it wants to flip right back over. All right. Let's land it and let me show you some of the neat features of this plane. Um, arrow, uh, arrows. Um, uh, Motion RC has them in stock right now. I want to say it's $169 and uh, which is a shame you when i bought it when i got mine it was 139 but you know everything's gone up on everything okay use an elevator rudder there we go all right motor off put my flaps up oh, you already know she's got flaps and she's got lights but let me show you some other features about this you got a really nice quick connect or a really nice latch push that pin back and uh your canopy comes off see there's that pin okay that's what holds your uh, uh wings in and they're they're not going to come out but you take that pin out okay and let me show you see there's the quick connect okay and there's the quick connect in the plane and watch inside that fuselage there when i slide the see oh, i hope you can see that see the pin going through there all the way back and then when you look on the wing you can see those channels that that pin goes in so you just slide your wing on the spar the quick connect don't drop your golf tee slide that golf tee in there like that and that locks them planes in place so that's where i've got the ovionics uh 2200 with a 25c discharge very inexpensive battery i want to say it's like 13 14 bucks um i can fly let's see i've already flown for i've flown i have flown i have already flown for five minutes because i had it set for a seven and a half minute timer but i've flown for five minutes right okay so let's see how much juice i've used 
All right. Still got 65%. With throttle, I've been hitting her hard and had her full throttle a lot. With throttle management, you could do 15 minutes easy. A lot of gliding. No problem. All right, well, folks, there you go. That is the Skynetic Shrike Sport Glider. I highly recommend this plane. Um, because it's a four-channel plane and it's easy to fly, it would be a great beginning plane. Um, but then as soon as you're ready, I would transition to a high-wing plane that has landing gear with four-channel once you're used to this. And because that's a whole different ball game there with, with landing gear. So anyways, good beginner plane, good plane to get you out there and flying quick. And uh, hey, that's what we want. We want people to get in this hobby and enjoy it and keep it going for our youth and our future. Thank you, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and planes. Bye.